Hello everybody. It is kind of late, but yeah, I just finished watching uh, Napoli beat uh, Lazio and yeah, it's time to have an Asian Cup update. I uh, watched also the highlights of this one, but didn't get until now. And yeah, uh, wearing Arsenal as they won yesterday and kind of being one of the bigger winners of today, but that we'll talk everything about that in the next video. For now, uh, Asian Cup first round of 16 matchup was Jordan against Vietnam. Highly, highly interesting game um, from what I could see in the highlights because Vietnam, who were ranked outsiders, I mean, Jordan also was not like this big favorite, but uh, Jordan at least won the group. So for me, they should have been favored going in. And well, Jordan might have had the first chance. I The better chances were falling Vietnam's way. I think there was a huge chance in the 35th minute. Uh, but when, when, how? I'm reading here the uh, names. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce Vietnamese names. Uh, sorry. Uh, but uh, Jordan took the lead through a pretty nice free kick from the edge of the box, on the, you know, outside edge of the box. Uh, it was an indirect free kick, nicely taken it up the Raman. Uh, pull it in the roof of the net in the far corner from his point of view. Really nicely taken free kick. Uh, Vietnam got the equalizer uh, right after halftime, 51st minute, and from that moment on, Vietnam had two or three chances to actually win the game, uh, but didn't manage to. From what I read, overtime was more or less um, no risk period, so it went to a penalty shootout where. Um, uh, Jordan had two misses. Uh, Vietnam could have put it away. Had another miss where the uh, was saved. I think the first for, by Jordan was hit hit the bar. Second one was saved, and Vietnam uh, got saved. But yeah, in the end, they put it through. Vietnam wins four two in a penalty shootout. The first time that they win a knockout tie. My, I'm not sure they may be, have been in a knockout tie before, but it's the first time that they won one. They're through to the quarterfinals, so it starts out with a bang right from the get-go. Um, and of course, Vietnam is now waiting for uh, the winner tomorrow between Japan and Saudi Arabia. That should be a very interesting matchup. I think it's the early game even. Uh, yes, it's the early game. That's kind of, but I, again, I won't see much of it and I saw Milan will be playing tomorrow in the afternoon, so uh, I will put my focus rather there. Second game was between Thailand and China, two second place teams. Still, you would give China the edge in that one. I mean, they have a little bit of a higher pedigree in Asian soccer at the moment, uh, although not that great either, but at least at the Asian Cup, they're good. But um, again, from what I could see in the highlights, Thailand actually. Um, maybe not dominated, but had a little bit better part of the game and took a uh, deserved lead by Super Jai uh, in the first uh, half. And then Lippi made some adjustments, brought on in uh, Xiao Ji, and within three minutes uh, that paid off big time. Uh, it was in the 67th when uh, he shot on goal, it was saved and he put in the rebound. And just four minutes later, and at that point, China was already really going at uh, Thailand's goal. Uh, they had at least one really good chance where they could have made already the equalizer. They finally broke through on that one. Four minutes later, penalty, pretty clear penalty call. Uh, and Gao Lin converts in the 71st to put China in the lead. Uh, so basically all of Thailand's defensive struggles uh, were in vain, but they had a huge chance to equalize from a long range shot uh, in the stoppage time. Just didn't, uh, was saved by the goalkeeper, but uh, that would have been great if that one would have gone to overtime as well. But so China holds on. Uh, Marcello Lippi basically outfoxed a little bit the Thai team. Again, I think he is the most decorated coach of all, uh, the Iran coach at the tournament, although the Iran coach Carlos Gerosh. Might have not the pedigree of Marcello Lippi, but he is a big, pretty big uh, name too. And speaking of Iran, that was the third game where Oman got the ideal start uh, right in the second minute. They get a penalty 
but it was saved by uh, Bera Nwant um, in the Irani goal. Um, and so the game went how you would expect it to go. Jana Baksh uh, gets finally the lead for Iran in a way that was kind of a really, really weir weird goal. If you wouldn't have known that Iran is playing to the right, you thought at first Oman has an attack, and but the defender mishandled it so badly that the ball just falls to Jan Baksh uh, and puts it into net 1-0. 10 minutes later, I get a penalty, and of course, Iran doesn't uh, miss, makes it 2 0. Mm, half chances for Oman. Uh, Iran then thoroughly um, dominated the, uh, the game and uh, put it home safely. And they will play now against China in what, at least in name, is a pretty good uh, quarterfinal. I still would favor Iran solidly. In that one. Well, that's my take on the Asian Cup tomorrow. Big game between Japan and uh, Saudi Arabia. Um, we also have um, the UAE against Kyrgyzstan and we have Aust uh, Australia against Uzbekistan. So uh, UAE, of course, is the late game. So really interesting matchups. It will be interesting how it will go. Let me know if you saw any, any of the games, whether you agree with my assessments. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.